Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, free part video series on how to use Diva for trend sounds. Today I'll show you how to make that very coarse and out of the blue amazing lead sound. But how it's done in Diva? Well, that's what we're gonna look at today. Let's go! So, we have the pad from the previous video, but if you didn't see it, check out the link in the corner. And let's insert another MIDI track and let's pull in a diva. This is going to be our lead. And again, we're going to be using the digital oscillator, which is emulated by JP8000. I believe it is. It sounds so similar. We're going to start with setting the oscillator one as is in a multi saw. We're going to raise it by one octave. Then we're going to come to the second one. And we're gonna just keep it as is. We're gonna set the mix about halfway, a little bit more to the right, and we're gonna increase the multi saw all the way right. This is gonna make sure that we have that classical, beautiful sound. On the oscillator B, I'm just gonna make sure that the detune is a little bit somewhere around 66. Now we're gonna pick a HPF post filter and set it to zero. We're gonna change the filter into cascade, and while we edit, we can change the envelopes, both of them, to digital. Don't forget it is a free video series of how to make these sounds in Diva. The links will be in the description so you can see all of them. I mentioned this in the last video. If you want to have that classical 8000 sound for the leads or any other sounds, you need to change this to digital so you don't lose that sparkle on top, that high end that is very typical for these very lush leads. Firstly, let's adjust the envelope one. I'm gonna give it less attack, a little bit more decay, a little bit more release. We will be using the envelope 2 on our filter, so we're gonna check here and click on envelope 2. For now, I'm just gonna set it to about like 32, and we're gonna adjust the envelope 2. And now, let me just do some magic in creating a very fast MIDI for the melody that we're gonna be using. And while you're watching the screen of me moving the knobs, make sure to subscribe and, uh, you know, hit that bell button, so you won't miss any future uploads. So the magic is over, and uh, the MIDI is sort of ready, so let's have a listen to how it sounds right now. <laughs> So I put an envelope a little bit more to the right. Let's add some resonance to it. About this much would be fine. Let's change it to clean. And now let's get to the voicing. Make sure it's set to poly. We're gonna go for 16 voices and a stack of three notes. Again, we're gonna be adding the stack index because we want the sound to be way more stereo and this is how it's done in Diva. So we click on the stack index here and put the pad mode somewhere around here. Now over here, we're gonna set this to delay because the delay is what's gonna make it much sound much, much fuller. So let's turn it on and let's set it up. We want a little bit more side volume, some high pass filtering over here. We can keep the voices on the sides and we can leave the delay as it is, decrease the vowel, increase the feedback, and now let's play it how it sounds. Nice, so we're getting there. By the way, this sound is actually part of my new upcoming Diva Bank that I did together with my friend Jerry, aka Occult Frequencies. This bank is now available for pre-order for a very special price for about 50 people, so go check it out so you won't miss the discount. Now let's turn on the reverb. For reverb, we're gonna go crazy, so the wet was gonna be very high. Somewhere around here, we can increase the dampening, of course increase the decay, and make the size super huge. Now, let's have a listen. Alright, so now the lead is ready, we have the part from the previous video, and now let's have a quick play to see what we created today. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button and also hit the bell button so you won't miss any future videos that I will upload. In the next one, we will look at how to make the four strings take me away baseline that is so lush and I so adore it. And that's really it, thank you for watching, ciao!
the way, guys, if you're still watching, go check out my Patreon, where I already uploaded the free sounds from the series for free for anyone to use. So you don't have to wait and you can just play around with it right in your door. Thank you.